insist the least you could do is knock. Looks like I can't trust you alone for a minute. Hello, sister. Uh, Jack had something in his eye, and I was just trying to get it out. You must have been trying to take it out with your teeth. Hmm? He's got lipstick all over his mouth. Margaret Hamilton, an actress, but to me she was mom. She was the fourth child of a prominent middle-class family in Cleveland, Ohio. Her father was a prominent lawyer. Her grandfather was a well-known judge. Your hands tell that you're a lady of culture. Young ladies in Cleveland in the, in the 1910s did not go on the stage. And uh, when she announced that she was going on the stage, her mother said, that, well, that's very nice, dear, but first you will go off and uh, learn a trade. So she went off to Wheelock Kindergarten School and got a degree and actually was teaching uh, kindergarten as her means of, of living when she got her big break to go on the stage. Jenny, I was an actress myself once. Really? Really. She always loved children and was always concerned about uh, how they looked at the film and whether it was make-believe or real. And uh, as you know, she was the witch in The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> and there'd be times when uh, people would come up to see her and uh, wanted them to meet their children. And of course, the children were cowering behind uh, mom's skirts or dad's pants. And she would say, now, this is a nice lady. That's make-believe. And that always concerned her uh, throughout her career. When you were in that theater, totally blacked out, it was a pretty scary film. But when you could sit in your parents' lap at home when maybe the light was on and there were commercial breaks to break the tension, that's when children really took to this thing because they felt safe with the movie. And that's when people started to come up, you know, in a restaurant or on the street uh, to talk to her. And then I said, gee, this is, I guess my mother is famous. I'm here. She was a true professional. She did a lot of different things, but her true love was acting, and she always said, whatever you do, do what you love, because you'll do it best if you have that privilege of doing what you love. And despite the uh, initial opposition from home, uh, eventually both her parents were thrilled with her. She went through a lot of effort and travail and prevailed, and she died a very, very happy person.